Hey you are watching Ali Aziz YouTube channel. Top 25 Hadoop Admin Interview Questions and Answers For Fresh and Experienced Candidates Ali Aziz Quality Education Channel providing you the job best interview related videos so don't forget the subscription button. 1. What daemons are needed to run a Hadoop cluster? Data node, name node, task tracker, and job tracker are required to run Hadoop cluster. 2. Which OS are supported by Hadoop deployment? The main OS use for Hadoop is Linux. However, by using some additional software, it can be deployed on Windows platform. 3. What are the common input formats in Hadoop? Three widely used input formats are Text input, it is default input format in Hadoop. Key value, it is used for plain text files. Sequence, used for reading files in sequence. 4. What modes can Hadoop code be run in? Hadoop can be deployed in Standalone mode Pseudo-distributed mode Fully distributed mode 5. What is the main difference between RDBMS and Hadoop? RDBMS is used for transactional systems to store and process the data whereas Hadoop can be used to store the huge amount of data. 6. What are the important hardware requirements for a Hadoop cluster? There are no specific requirements for data nodes. However, the name nodes need a specific amount of RAM to store file system image in memory. This depends on the particular design of the primary and secondary name node. 7. How would you deploy different components of Hadoop in production? You need to deploy job tracker and name node on the master node then deploy data nodes on multiple slave nodes. 8. What do you need to do as Hadoop admin after adding new data nodes? You need to start the balancer for redistributing data equally between all nodes so that Hadoop cluster will find new data nodes automatically. To optimize the cluster performance, you should start rebalancer to redistribute the data between data nodes. 9. What are the Hadoop shell commands can use for copy operation? The copy operation command are FS copy to local FS put FS copy from local 10. What is the importance of the name node? The role of name anand is very crucial in Hadoop. It is the brain of the Hadoop. It is largely responsible for managing the distribution blocks on the system. It also supplies the specific addresses for the data based when the client made a request. 11. Explain how you will restart a name node. The easiest way of doing is to run the command to stop running cell script. Just click on stop.all.sh. Then restarts the name node by clocking on start all sh. 12. What happens when the name node is down? If the name node is down, the file system goes offline. 13. Is it possible to copy files between different clusters? If yes, how can you achieve this? Yes, we can copy files between multiple Hadoop clusters. This can be done using distributed copy. 14. Is there any standard method to deploy Hadoop? No, there are now standard procedure to deploy data using Hadoop. There are few general requirements for all Hadoop distributions. However, the specific methods will always different for each Hadoop admin. 15. What is Dist? Dist is a Hadoop copy utility. It is mainly used for performing MapReduce jobs to copy data. The key challenges in the Hadoop environment is copying data across various clusters, and Dist will also offer to provide multiple data nodes for parallel copying of the data. 16. What is a checkpoint? Checkpointing is a method which takes a FS image. It edits log and compacts them into a new FS image. Therefore, instead of replaying an edit log, 
the name node can be load in the final in-memory state directly from the FS image. This is surely more efficient operation which reduces name node start up time. 17. What is rack awareness? It is a method which decides how to put block space on the rack definitions. Hadoop will try to limit the network traffic between data nodes which is present in the same rack. So that, it will only contact remote. 18. What is the use of JPS command? The JPS command helps us to find that the Hadoop daemons are running or not. It also displays all the Hadoop daemons like name node, data node, node manager, resource manager, etc. which are running on the machine. 19. Name some of the essential Hadoop tools for effective working with big data. Hive, HBase, HDFS, Zookeeper, NoSQL, Lucene slash SolarC, Avro, Uzi, Flume, Clouds, and SQL are some of the Hadoop tools that enhance the performance of big data. 20. How many times do you need to reformat the name node? The name node only needs to format once in the beginning. After that, it will never format. In fact, reformatting of the name node can lead to loss of the data on entire the name node. 21. What is speculative execution? If a node is executing a task slower than the master node, then there is needs to redundantly execute one more instance of the same task on another node. So the task finishes first will be accepted and the other one likely to be killed. This process is known as speculative execution. 22. What is big data? Big data is a term which describes the large volume of data. Big data can be used to make better decisions and strategic business moves. 23. What is Hadoop and its components? When big data emerged as a problem, Hadoop evolved as a solution for it. It is a framework which provides various services or tools to store and process big data. It also helps to analyze big data and to make business decisions which are difficult using the traditional method. 24. What are the essential features of Hadoop? Hadoop framework has the competence of solving many questions for big data analysis. It's designed on Google MapReduce which is based on Google's big data file systems. 25. What is the main difference between an input split and HDFS block? Input split is the logical division of the data while the HDFS block is the physical division of the data.